In this video, I'm going to teach the double turnover. The double turnover allows you to turn over two cards as if it were one card. The idea is that it would look like you're just turning over a single card and then turning it back over. So to do the move, you first need to get a break under the top two cards of the deck. So the most common way to do that probably is to hold the deck in biddle grip and then just use the thumb to count two cards and then transfer that division from the thumb to a pinky break. So then you would have the break under the top two cards. Uh, some things to note about getting the break are if you do that, you know, these card corners bend up and people can see that, so you can either be very gentle about it so that, you know, you don't bend it up as much, you can use misdirection, or you can do a technique like just holding the deck and then kind of dropping these down and letting cards fall until, you know, you have that number two that you want. Sometimes you'll run into a problem where you'll get a break under a certain number of cards, but you're not sure if it's two or three cards. Uh, sometimes the best option for that is just to uh, let the break drop and then recount again and make sure you have the, you know, the right amount. Uh, also worth noting, I guess, is that once you get the break, you can delay the actual double turnover until much later. So it's often helpful to get a break while you're misdirecting the audience and then later on you can be like, okay, now the top card, and then you go straight into the actual part of the move. So once you have the break, the next part is just to bring your non-deck hand over insert either the middle finger or index finger uh, below the two cards and then put your thumb on top so that you're just pinching these two cards as if they were one and then you just kind of drag them over towards the finger side of the deck hand and then as you do that you use your non deck hand you just turn them over and place them right back on top of the deck now one of the things I like to do is once I have the break I turn the two cards over and then just drop them onto the fleshy part of the thumb getting a thumb base break like that and then I can use my thumb right here to push down on the pip of this card to bring some space over here. And then I can insert my pinky and get rid of the thumb base break. And now I'm ready to repeat the move to turn the cards back over. So that's probably something you should practice if you want to be able to, you know, perform the move as smoothly as possible. So you just stick in the fingers, turn it over, show it to everyone, turn it back over. One of the things to note about the double lift is that whenever you do it, uh, you have to hold that pinky break here if you're going to uh, maintain that state, which means if the audience is on this side of you, they're going to be able to see that break. So generally what you do is you position yourself so that uh, they're looking this way or this way, but as few people as po possible are over here. If you have to have people on your finger side of the deck hand, you can turn the deck down like this, and then they won't be able to see that uh, break that you're maintaining. So that's the double turnover. It'll take a lot of practice to get it better. Uh, there's also uh, kind of a, a variation of that which allows you to push your thumb down and then this will separate these cards away from each other. And then you can just go straight in without any break, count two cards, it'll be easier to count since the cards are bowed, and then turn those over and then you can just turn them over again. Uh, that'll take some practice and a newer deck of cards is helpful. You might have to count a few cards, which could be obvious, but the better you get at it, the better that would work. And that's it.